Yo, what is going on guys? Read text messenger. Hope you have a wonderful day. Got a brand new video for you guys. So, Marvel Realm of Champions released a little article here explaining the stuff about the trailer, okay? One of these things is about the weapons and the costumes, as you can obviously tell by the title here. I speculated that there were going to be like certain uh, abilities and advantages to changing you know, your pants, your chest area, the vest, whatever you want to call it, the pants, the boots, uh, you saw it, Spider-Man, different web slingers. So, what do these do? They actually explain, in general, what these changes actually do. So, we're going to get into it right here. Customize your champion. This other stuff here, uh, kind of talks about, like, the multiplayer stuff and whatnot. Basically, everything that we saw, uh, just how to win on the PvE combat, uh, talk about the multiplayer there, but I want to go over this part here. So, customize your own Ultimate Marvel Champion with weapons and gear, then team up with your network of friends, blah blah blah. Customization is a fundamental feature within Marvel Realm of Champions. Select the champion and earn gear and upgrades as you brawl through the mayhem. Gear and weapons will add to your champion's abilities and strength. The more powerful your champion becomes, the more successful you will be. The possibilities and combinations are endless. Gear has a variety of attributes, so the customization potential is almost limitless. This is the only Marvel game where you can become your favorite champion and customize them to reflect both your personality and battle style. The champion will also have access to a diverse set of weapons that completely change their kits and movesets, guys. Use Hulk's gauntlets to smash opponents, knock them back, stun them, jump fist first into battle equip hulk's hammer and you become an area effect bruiser king and deadly whirlwind strikes for a smashing good time so all of those different combinations guys has an effect on how your champion is going to play here's the thing though just a gut feeling is that these different uh like suits and whatnot and weapons and gears whatever you want to call them they're probably gonna cost money right you'll probably get a few free ones here and there but I'm gonna assume that some of these sets are going to cost a pretty penny meaning you know let's say you get the the chest the pants the boots the weapon you get a whole complete set right for like $5.99 or $10 whatever $9.99 anything like that or you could buy them individually for a lower price of like 99 cents type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll probably have like bundle deals that you could buy to help strengthen your champion. Which, I'm not for it, but it's that's basically making it pay to win. Which, a lot of people are not happy with, with any single game. So, unfortunately, we will have to see when the game comes out how it's all going to play out. That's how I see it though. I see them trying to grab quick money, make a quick buck by putting these different sets on the store, sell them as a bundle individually, whatever. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts. That's going to wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'm out guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace.